Hi everyone, in this video we will create thread operation in ASP.NET Core version 6 uh, Maybe you are using version 7 or 5 But I am using version 6. Let's open the Visual Studio code Visual Studio Yeah, Visual Studio 2022 I am using Let's create a new project Search here web speed that need core web okay web up then click this and click next let's name it crud up let's press next and version 6 selected let's beat The project has created so now we will come and create a folder here model folder in this project right click on this okay add new folder the name of the folder would be model that has created so now let's create a class inside this Class name would be, for example, user. Add this. So let's add properties to this class. We will simply write prop and press double tap. Okay, it is integer type and ID. The second one would be string type. The name would be name, and the third one would be uh, string property email. After writing this, uh, now let's come to the pages. Okay, this folder, right click and add a new folder. The name would be users. Okay. After that, right click on this and press add and here just uh, click new scaffolding item. Press on raise the pages, raise the pages using entity framework, add it. So now it's installing entity framework and other uh, extensions, okay. So first let's specify the model for this user model and uh, we don't have context class. So just press this plus button it will create a new one now press add ok so it is installing now the uh, package ok core tools and SQL server and other. if you get an error here so you can install that uh, package manually ok you go into tools and package manager and install that manually so it is installing code generation design see it is updating It's building the project now. Yeah, the code has generated for us and now after generating the code let's see here see the code has generated so now let's tools and make it package manager and come to the console and just right here add migration initial yeah now it will add the migration Yeah, the migration has added succeeded see the migration has added here and now let's update our database update database it will just update our database later i will show you the database okay the 
build succeeded okay that has done okay so now let's run our project So now let's go to the user, users, okay, press it. See, we came here to the user area. So now let's create a new user. Press on this, let's add name, yusuf, yusuf, gmail.com and click it. A new user has created, okay. So let's add a new one. You can go back okay through clicking on this link okay the user is created now you can see the de details of them okay you can go back to the list you can edit them let's have for example change it to the Khan see it has changed if you would like to delete press this button that has do you want to delete yes so now let's check the database of this okay the database which, which has created so come to uh, SQL server object explorer come here to the SQL server click on this one come to the database section and the card app which we have created right now okay come to the tables see the dbo.user that we has created and right click on this view design of this we can see the design of this and also we can see the data in this yeah it is uh, the design of this table okay the design so let's see the data right click on this uh, view the data we can see the data in this table okay see it is the data that we have in our table so it was all about crowd operation in the uh, asp.net code so if you like this video please subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching